Hi everybody, welcome to a new PyTorch tutorial. In this tutorial I show you a concrete example of how we optimize our model with automatic gradient computation using the PyTorch Autograd package. So we start by implementing the linear regression algorithm from scratch where we do every step manually. So we implement the equations to calculate the model prediction and the loss function. Then we do a numerical computation of the gradients and implement the formula. And then we implement the gradient descent algorithm to optimize our parameters. When this is working, we see how we can replace the manually computed gradients with the automatic backpropagation algorithm from PyTorch. So this is step number two. And in the third steps, we in the third step we replace the manually computed loss and parameter updates by using the loss and optimizer classes in PyTorch. And in the final step, we replace the manually computed model prediction by implementing a PyTorch model. So when we understood each of these steps, PyTorch can do most of the work for us. Of course, we still have to, to design our model and have to know which loss and optimizer we should use, but we don't have to worry about the underlying algorithms anymore. So now this video will cover steps one and two. And in the next video, we will see the steps three and four. So let's start. And I assume that you already know how linear regression and gradient descent works. And if not, then please watch my machine learning from scratch tutorial about this algorithm, because now I will not explain all the steps in detail, but I put the link in the description. So now we do everything from scratch. So we use only NumPy. So we import NumPy as NP. And then we use linear regression. So we use a function which just, just does a linear combination of some weights and our inputs. And we don't care about the bias here. So in our example, let's say f equals two times x. So our weight must be two. And then let's do some training samples. So let's say x equals numpy dot array. And then we put some tests or training samples. So let's say one, two, three, and four. And this will be of numpy uh, or let's get give this a data type on say this is numpy dot float 32. And then we also want a y. And since our formula is this is 2x, we have to multiply each of the values by 2. So 2, 4, 6, and 8. And now we initialize our weights. So we simply say w equals 0 in the beginning. And now we have to um, calculate our model prediction. And we also have to calculate the loss. And then we have to calculate the gradient. So now we do each of these steps manually. So let's define a function and we call this forward. So this is a forward pass to follow the conventions of PyTorch, which will get x. And then our model output is simply w times x. So this is the forward pass. Um, now the loss. So here we define the function loss, which depends on y and y predicted. So the this is the model output. Um, and now here in this case, this is the or the loss equals the mean squared error in the case of linear regression. And we can calculate this by saying this is, um, let's say y predicted minus y, and then to the power of two, and then we do the mean operation. So this is the loss. And now we manually have have to calculate the gradient of the loss with respect to our parameters. 
So let's have a look at the mean squared error. So the formula is one over n it's because it's the mean. And then we have our w times x, so our prediction minus the actual value to the power of two. And now if you want to have the derivative, so the derivative of this, let's call this j, our objective function, with respect to w equals one over n. And then we have two times x and then times w times x minus y. So this is the numerical computed computed derivative. So please double check the math for yourself. And now we implement this. So we say define gradient, which is dependent on x and y and also y predicted. And now we can do this in one line. So we return numpy dot, we need a dot product of two times x. And then here we have y predicted minus y. So this is this formula here. And then of course, we also need the mean. So let's say this is dot mean, we can simply do it like this in NumPy. And now, yeah, these are the things we need. Now let's print our um, prediction before the training. So let's print and we use an F string. So prediction before training. And let's say we want to predict the value five, which should be 10. And here we can do uh, in the F string, we can actually use an expression. So we can call this forward method and with five. And let's say we only want three decimal values. And now Let's start our training. Um, so let's define some parameters. So we need a learning rate, which is let's say 0 0.01. And then we need a number of iterations. So we say n iters equals 10. And now let's do our training loop. So we say for epoch in range n iters. And then first we do the prediction, which is the forward pass. So this is the forward pass. Um, and we can simply do this with our function. So we say y prediction or y pred equals forward. And then we put in our capital X. And now we want to have the loss. So our loss L equals the loss of um, the actual Y and our Y predicted. Now we need to get the gradients. So our gradients with respect to W, so DW equals the gradient function that we just implemented which is dependent on x and y and the y predicted. Uh, sorry, y pred. And now we have to update our weights. And yeah, so the update formula in the gradient descent algorithm is just we go into the negative direction of the training of the gradient, so minus x. And then here, the step width, or the so called learning rate, times our, the, our gradient. So this is the update formula. And then let's say we also want to print some information here. So we say if epoch um, modulo, just say one here, because now we want to print every step. Um, if this is zero, we want to print, um, let's say, 
we want to print the epoch um, and here we print epoch plus one and then we want to get the weight which is um, the weight w um, also just three decimal numbers and then we also want to have the loss so the loss equals the loss and here we say 0.8 let's say and yeah and then at the end we want to print the prediction after the training um, so now let's predict Predict, uh, print prediction after training and yeah so now let's run this and see what happens so everything should be working and now so yeah before our training the prediction is zero and then for each step remember that our formula should be 2 times x so our w should be 2 in the beginning and we see that with each training step, it, sh it increases our weight and it decreases our loss. So it gets better with every step. And after the training, our model prediction is 9.999. So it's almost there. So let's say, for example, now we want to have more iterations here say we only did we only did 10 iterations which is not much now if we run this and let's print every second step only then we see in the end our loss is zero and the prediction is correct now this is the implementation where we did everything manually and now let's replace the gradient calculation so let's select all of this and copy this into a separate file. And now we don't use NumPy anymore. So now let's only import Torch and do everything with PyTorch. Um, and of course, what we now want to get rid of is this gradient, the, the manually computed gradient. So we simply delete this. We don't need this anymore. And now we don't have NumPy arrays. So this is now a torch.tensor. And our data type is now a torch.float32. And the same with our Y, which is now a torch.tensor. And also the data type is from the torch module but everything else is the same here so the same syntax and now our w also has to be a tensor so let's say this is a torch dot tensor um, with 0, 0.0 in the beginning and it also gets a data type of say torch dot float 32 and since we are interested in the gradient of our loss with respect to this parameter we need to specify that this requires the gradient computation so requires grad equals true now the forward function and the loss function is still the same because we can use the same syntax in pytorch and now in our training loop the forward pass is still the same the loss is the same and now the gradient this is the equal to the backward pass so remember in back propagation we first do a forward pass that's why we use the syntax and then later for the gradients we use the backward pass so here we simply call l dot backward and this will calculate the gradient of our loss with respect to W. So PyTorch does all the computations for us. 
And now we update our weights, but here we want to be careful. And I explained this in the tutorial about the autograd package, um, because we don't want to be, this operation should not be part of our um, gradient tracking graph. So this should not be part of the computational graph. So we need to wrap this in a with torch dot no grad statement. And then one more thing that we should also know, and I also talked about this already, we must empty or zero the gradients again, because whenever we call backward, it will write our gradients and accumulate them in the w dot grad attribute. So before the next iteration, we want to make sure that our gradients are zero again. So we can say w times grad times zero underscore. So this will modify it in place. And now we are done. And now let's run this and see if this is working. And w is not defined. Um, oh yeah, of course this is now w dot grad. And let's try this again. And now it's working. And now we also see that it will increase our w and it will decrease our loss. And here we said we had 20 iterations, but it's not correct, not completely correct. And this is because the backward or the back propagation is not as exact as the numerical gradient comp computation. So let's try some more iterations here. Let's say we want 100 iterations and print our update every 10th step. So let's try this again. And now we see after the training is done, we have the correct, correct prediction. So yeah, that's it for this video uh, and in the next video we will continue here and replace the manually computed loss and weight updates with PyTorch loss and optimizer classes. So if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and see you next time. Bye.